set up. All right, continue. All right, so anyway, um, the story about how I met David Leeson was, when I, when I signed up to go to, uh, when I was at Eastfield College, I worked on the school newspaper. And uh, uh, we took a trip while I was there. I won some award for some journalistic page I did, nothing big. But, but anyway, David was speaking at a journalism conference and uh, with a bunch of other conferences, and I chose his. And his story just captivated me about how he just totally got into photography, how much he liked it, and how passionate he was about it. And I got to talk to him, and that was the first time I met him. It was just he blew me away, man. His photography was awesome. Yep. He was showing stuff like how he did. He did all his stuff on slides back in the day. And now all I've got to do is use a projector. But anyway, um, I never tutored under him, but man, I've always followed his photographs for a number of years. I followed people like Justin Trevine and about half the Dallas Morning News staff. I used to keep. Uh, I used to keep. Uh, Scrapbooks of all the photographers that I used to do, I used to follow, and I used to spend hours and hours going through magazines, newspapers, photo books, looking at people's work and stuff, and just kind of, you know, learning. I, I, most of what I've learned is kind of self-taught, but I've had several years of photography in school. I got a didn't get a degree in photography. I'm working on that, but. You know, I'm just kind of, uh, I'm just kind of going along with life and whatever life God shows me the images that, that He gives me, and I just snap the shutter. That's all I am, a vessel of God. <coughs> you know, He just gives me the pictures, and I take them and That's right. turn them into art. Yes. What do you think, Dave? What do you think about being a photographer? What do you like most about that? I think that the camera is the only medium that manipulates time, yeah. and that is God's playground, is time, because that's right. something that we can't really change or mess with, but for some reason, the camera, if your shutter's open really long, you can capture moments of time that wouldn't be seen by the naked eye, and it's quite a mystical, unseen way to, to capture things that, yeah. I don't know. Well, we can only do 10 minutes on YouTube, just so you know, you might want to, like, stop it there. All right. For now.